Thanksgiving, the day we gather with friends and family to enjoy turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie. We throw on the game, catch up on our lives, and then discuss, or quite possibly argue, about religion and politics. For millions of Americans, it's a day of cherished traditions. And as Americans, we certainly value those traditions. But it's also important to unpack the myth of Thanksgiving. It is a holiday riddled with historical inaccuracies, built on this myth that the indigenous welcomed their colonizers with open arms and ears of corn, a simplistic fairy tale interpretation of a 1621 encounter between indigenous tribes and English settlers that erases the genocide that followed. It's the truth Republicans want banned from our textbooks, because here's the secret they want so desperately to keep. We are a country founded on violence. Our birth was violent. In 1619, a ship with more than 20 enslaved Africans landed in Virginia, ushering in two centuries of American slavery that left millions in chains or dead. And when those humans in bondage were finally free, a terrorist organization that was a card-carrying member of polite society, the Ku Klux Klan, picked up where the Civil War ended, using violence to maintain white supremacy. The Klan and its ilk are still active, and as Americans, we continue to choose violence. We are a country that chooses violence over and over again. There is no facet of American society that is untouched by it, as all the recent headlines remind us.